look at that. The whole thing stripped. Well, the front looks good, but you've just got to remember, go over it with some coarse sandpaper, just to take any little pips off. You get little pips left of it. Little tiny pips. And they just bugger it all up. Hey up. Kane's on the job. Or was it Caleb? I can't remember. I'll get mixed up. He's got his rubber hammer out. Looking good. Looking good. And still needs a bit more love here and there, but um, it's those, it's, it's when you've finished it, when you've completely finished it, you think, right, now I'm gonna waste an hour on it. And that golden hour is the difference between a good job and a fantastic job. So what we do is we do the golden hour. But all the mechanical stuff, all the freeing up, all the stuff that's we done before we start painting it. It's called a finish because it's done at the end. Not because it's fun and it's easy. <laughs> and you just do it any time. It's, it's got to be done at the end. We've got a welder plate on there first. And then um, grind a few bits off and make it beautiful. Yeah, there's quite a lot of paint around the cupola and, and shit like that. But uh, it's got the makings. And all these bits need a bit more love. Yeah. All the difficult bits need a bit more love. But it's coming on really well. Good traps on it. Look at the bushes. Look at the gaps in the bushes, look. I know it's not. Bugger all gap. Bugger all gap. The sign of a very low mileage vehicle. Or low tracks. Yeah, you just look at the... Yeah, the hook. The hook here. Oh. Got a bit, but not a lot. And then when they get too hooked, you take them off and turn around. Unless yeah. you do a lot of reversing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On a chieftain, they have a little dimple. When it gets to the dimple, that's when you should change. <clears throat> oh, we've got the builders in. It's Keith. Decking Keith. Wow, look at that. I'm going to have to paint me jacuzzi white so it matches. It looks great. She's going to love that wavy edge. Yeah, wow, wavy edge. What are you going to do with all the wood? Right. What are you going to do with all the bits of wood? Uh, anywhere you want. I can float well, them in your hot tub. No, you no, like. there's a little... So you float them back in there, that'd be lovely. Over there, there's a little blue car. If you leave it in the behind it, he'll put it in and take it. Okay. He's mad on fires. Yeah, we can do that. He's a fire starter. Yeah, we can do that for you. That's a good way of getting rid of it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Well, it looks like we've just closed a big order. And I am going to need one more Spartan. Just one, just one more Spartan. And I wouldn't mind a bit of 4-3. I love Abbott's, love 4-3-2s, love 4-3-4s. So if anyone's got any of that kind of stuff, give us a ring. And if your Spartan's a bit precious and you don't want to sell it because you love it and money just couldn't buy it, I bet you I've got something you'd like to swap for it. Because I've got this part of 300 vehicles here um, military obviously and one or two flash motors which I never use and I could be tempted on one of my special beauties that's a bit special um, yes so I've got a whole great big yard whether it's a project or a non-project but I do need a spark and like I say I'd use 432s on me days so I would like to um, to stock up a bit at the moment before the winter comes now, the lads are working on the T-34. And I bet you'd absolutely love to see what they're getting up to. I've got some sort of film job going off today. Uh, so I've got to get the car crush ready. I need a bit of a hand with that, really, because I'm just old and stupid now. And um, I'm looking for them. I'm not quite sure where they are. I think they're right over the other side of the farm. We'll have a look. Uh, just sold one of these without canvas on, so I've got to swap the canvas over. Um, very cheap high mileage one, but I mean, what is high mileage on a Man HX? 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 500,000? I don't know. I've got this feeling they'd probably do six, 700,000. This is a bit posh, it's got a winch on it. Um, I should be playing more with this as well and fitting one of them thermal imagery cameras into my Humvee. How cool would that be? thermal imagery on a humvee i think i'm gonna do it i've got a spare set okay onwards and upwards let's go and find the boys i think we want a good old 434 like that two or three of them 
and some four threes. That is a lovely Humvee. That's got a huge turbo diesel in it and it's still a full swimmer. Hey, you don't see many of them. I've had a few people offer me these stormers, but what am I going to do with them? Um, very hard to get them road legal. Well, it's impossible to get them road legal. If they've got a V5, there is some value to them. But other than that, it's just for going around the field. And I've got nine already, so um, I'm not the biggest buyer of them anymore. If it's got a V5, V5, I might be. Right, well, I'm not sure. Let's see if this springer will fire up. There they are. I can see um, Ashley's little blue motor that he loves. He stole that off me. No, I mean he stole it. <laughs> oh, tyres are up. Tyres are up. Let's have a look. Maybe she's a goer. It's all right firing these things up if you're not careful. Yeah, very wet bottom. And nobody likes that. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Right, I've got no idea where the ignition switch is. Absolutely no idea. Well, I call this area the um, the graveyard, but it's not that they're dead. That one over there was used as some sort of trial and they drove it over a landmine and it damaged the first road wheel and um, track. And I plan to cut the whole top off and put something like a Renault Spass on it and then um, put an engine in the back out of a fire engine with a prop shaft straight to the steering box. I've seen it done before. It's called, what's it called? Ooh, Thunder Tracks. Look that up. Scott May Thunder Tracks. Fantastic piece of kit. Um, those three CETs over there, we tried to start them up. And two of them fired straight up. Um, one of them moved backwards and forwards, no problem. They've all done about 20 or 30 miles from you. Um, so they're hardly dead. The chief and started straight away but wouldn't go into gear. That's probably them selectors on the gearbox like we were playing around with yesterday. The T34 has a stand in C's and uh, I think it's just a matter of getting some oil down the bores, which the lads have been playing at. Now I don't understand why, uh, why the car's here and nobody is. Now if I find them in the back of a vehicle kissing and cuddling, I should be a little bit concerned. That chieftain over there, well I've got no idea. Never tried to do anything with it. Let's have a look in here. Are they cuddling up? No. This is a beauty. It's got flowered wallpaper and a, a sink and a bed and all that kind of stuff. And um, when I broke one up for spares, I threw a load of stuff in here that'd be useful. Yeah, it was a runner, but I haven't, I haven't run it for years. But it's definitely the model to have. Okay, so now we're talking T34. Now, um, the trick is to get some slippery stuff down the bores. And um, they've done six cylinders, but there's 12 cylinders on this monkey. And, uh, something slippery down every single cylinder because it would be such a shame to score a cylinder now this is what i'm talking about you see these big bits here they're full of grease see these big like thin bits that's just full of grease now does it get hot grease? yeah just grease does it get hot and as it hot it goes it goes melts down into the I don't know okay now tom just had the best cleverest idea in the whole wide world why take the injectors out when you could put an injector uh, tester, one of these things you pump diesel through and see what the spray's like. You could put an injector tester on each injector and go chuk, 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 and force force and diesel down the bores. And it I would take, go in as a nice spray. I take a, one of these unions off, I cut the pipe. What? Make it out of copper pipe. And then I can flare the other end with a 432 adapter and then it will thread straight into our injector tester. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah. And don't be in a rush to turn it over. I would spray some diesel down every day for a week. And then next, I know doing. you're excited. I know you can't wait. Spray some diesel down every cylinder, every day for a week, and then we'll turn it over. Because this old girl is brand fire new. When I looked at the gearbox, it had a waxed paper cover over the top of the gearbox breather i mean you just don't get newer it could be a absolute spanker so uh I don't, it needs a new exhaust manifold a new exhaust manifold yes. oh you're kidding me yes there's not a lot left of it 
Oh, bollocks. Well, we'll have to take the engine out anyway. Let's and get it. Like, it's just, you've got the, the stats. Maybe we can get one of them. If not, we'll have to make one. It's just, just nothing else. Okay, well, let's go forward and onwards. It's nice visiting the graveyard. Now, that one there, I have actually got someone who's just paid me yesterday for a Saracen for display. But you know what? That's too bloody good because that is not reverse turning. It's got the three door turret, it's got the machine gun on the ring, on the back, it's not up armoured. That is the perfect model. If you're looking for a Saracen, that is the model. You don't want up armoured because you haven't got windows, eh? Oh no, we've got one in the place. There's a yellow one in the row. I don't think that, I think, no, we'll think of something. The boys have been down in the T-34 in the bowels of the machine. Now it was completely complete and there seems to be an awful lot of stuff missing. Apart from, of course, the breech block and the uh, rifling up the barrel. Um, now I look down at the seat, which is pretty unsplit, um, but all the stitching's gone. That's horse hair. Horse hair. Or it could be Russian beards all shaved off and stuffed in the seats. I don't know. But it's going to make a wonderful, wonderful project. But it's a quite a big project if you're going to do it properly. I mean, we could jolly this up in a week and probably have it running. But uh, the boys want to do it properly, very properly. You know, tar it off, strip everything out and then lose everything. Which is always fun. Always fun looking for the bits. Are you sure we've got the time for this? I've just yeah. secured a contract for 41 vehicles. Yeah, I've done it in a week. vehicles, and we've got to do this in between them. Are you sure? Uh, See, right up your nose. <laughs>